It's time to do the MetaZoo. This is the intro for the Hatcher Show. He didn't want to do nothing, so he's standing there. What's up, my friends? We have MetaZoo native spoilers. This set has yet to be released, so we get to take a sneak peek and see what kind of new silliness this game has to offer. I think it's fun creating these individual little spoilers that have one card per pack before the set comes out. It's neat to be included. So what do we have here? We have the Gathering of Seven Thunders with a fat cost, bro. It costs seven. That is massively expensive. Oh, cool. It's got a little stamp down here. Right on. I like little touches like that. That's awesome. All right. So what does it do? If seven real lightning strikes occur within eyesight of this game, you may contract this page for three less. What? The conditions for the exterior of the game are absolutely hilarious. The idea that you would count lightning strikes and if you're sitting somewhere you can see so many, ba bow, you're gonna cut four off the cost? That is pretty sweet. Oh no, sorry, three off the cost, my bad. I'm making it even better in my own imagination. So, contract up to seven beast deities from any place at no aura cost and place them into the arena awakened? Place all beasties contracted to buy this effect into the afterlife at end of turn. Wow. So basically you get to like slap seven dudes straight onto the board. They're good to go right away, but you're going to lose them afterwards. That is a high cost effect, but super powerful, right? And being able to grab the cards from any place obviously adds to the versatility. Now, I don't have enough experience with this game to really know. Like, it feels like, like pulling this off is going to be pretty difficult, right? I mean, I know there are some ways to ramp up your aura to a degree, but I feel like this is going to be one of those things that's like a big flashy woo, but also probably not like super competitive. You can correct me if I'm wrong on that, because I don't know much about competitive level MetaZoo, right? Now, let's see. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I didn't read the tiny... The tiny little flavor text. Come on now. Come on now. Focus up, camera. So what does it say? The beating of the drum signals their arrival. The thunder collapse quickly became a cacophony of danger and beauty. All right. Now, let's see what the second pack has. That's a beefy spell, dude. Seven guys straight into play. That's nutty. Okay. And then we've got... Who's this? Odzizio. <laughs> All right. Bro, he looks like, he looks kind of like a Pokemon, doesn't he? All right, so what do we got here? He's got a big fat 170. He's got a, oh man, there's so many abilities in this game that I always forget what does what. Now, when you contract him, destroy all Terra pages in the arena, except for these particular two symbols that I don't remember the name for. You can search any place for basic mountain or whatever squiggly cyclone terra page and contract it into the arena. It has the ability carving floods for 60. If you control at least two of these aura pages, you get to bookmark one. Oh yo, bookmarking is just drawing a card, right? So when this guy comes into play, as long as you have two of the right auras out, you're gonna straight up draw a card to replace them. That's nice to start with. Oh, there's this thing, tribal boost. Is this new? Uh, there's so... I have to admit, when it comes to these games, like this game in particular, there's so many different abilities. And I play so many card games and just kind of intermix here and there that I keep... I have to refer to the rules for stuff like this. This is fairly complex, but is a pretty beefy and goofy looking dude. I like MetaZoo because it doesn't take itself too seriously and has some real wonkiness going on. It's got uh, it's got a silly kind of fun to it. Anyways, those are the spoilers that I got sent. Let me know how exciting these cards are to you guys in the comments. Peace!